So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. Um, well, it's going to be a get ready with me, but it's going to be like a talk through. Um, there's going to be like the baby in the background, you know, TV in the background. Just because I feel like I don't do enough of these talk through videos, and I um, I like doing them, but you know, I figured you know if you don't mind the background, then I can I can do more of them um, more often. So I'm going to try try this one out and see how I like it and see how it turns out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into it, and yeah gonna put on my makeup I'm gonna go to Walmart need to get some groceries um, so yeah let's get into it <laughs> okay so after I moisturized um, I'm going to use the NYC smooth skin primer the one that I talked about in my uh, recent beauty favorites so I'm gonna use that and I really like this I mean obviously if it was in my favorites I liked it but it just it's it really surprised me for how cheap it is it's really a good quality product. I have a ton of other um, primers in my collection that are like Rimmel or like Maybelline or whatever and they don't do my skin any good. They just kind of like rub, they kind of like pull at my skin. But this cheap one really works and does the job, so. Oh, there goes my pillow. My pretty pillows. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed in my, in my fast forward talk through, or in my fast forward Bing It videos, that Petrova always knocks down my pretty pillows on my on my um, chair. She just did that now. <laughs> so yeah, doesn't stay pretty for long. <laughs> if you notice my cute little boot earrings, my mom got these for me at Bell's at Bell's um <laughs> store. So, and I I used to wear cowboy boots all the time to work. So I love them. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go in. Where's my concealer? Here it is. I'm going to go in with my um, Hard Candy Concealer Palette. And I have like two or three of these. I love these a lot. Um, and I have a lot of Hard Candy that is not, isn't is sold anymore in stores. Like, Because I've, I've, I've collected Hard Candy throughout the years. So I have a lot of stuff that's discontinued or whatever. And I think this might be one of them because I don't see it at a store anymore. But I really liked it. I'm surprised it's not there. It's just, it has a green concealer. It has Petrova. Careful. Hold on a second. Alright, what I was saying is that it has a green concealer for, like, redness. Where is it? Right here. And then they have a yellow concealer. And then they have, like, a pinkish tone. And then they have, like, like neutral tones. And this is, like, I think the, the medium palette. They have a, a light, medium, and dark. And this is the medium one. So I'm just going to use this. And I, I like the, um the yellow shade the best, I think, because I think it does the best job of brightening up my eyes and my face, and it's so thick. This concealer is so thick and, and creamy, it's just, it goes on wonderfully. And I'm not even going to go into um, how much I love hard candy, because I think I talk about it enough. People are going to start getting sick of me, hearing me talk about hard candy all the time. So yeah, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love hard candy, so... And I'm just going to go in with my finger. I I feel that um, concealer I like best working out with my finger than like with a, a brush or like a, a sponge or anything. I just feel like the, warm, the warmth of my fingers gets the product in the best. So I'm just going to do that. I cannot seem to think. Is my... Hmm, I need to get closer up. See, this was a, a, just a speed through. <laughs> You wouldn't be seeing all these like technical, technical difficulties. All right, that's bright enough. All right, and then and see, it's not all the way blended out, but it's fine because I'm going to put on my um, foundation over it. And today, since I'm going to Walmart, I'm going to be going out in the heat. I'm going to be using a um, a, a full coverage foundation, and this is a clean, the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control. Um, foundation and this is in the shade buff beige and I have two of these like I went through a phase when I was um, buying foundations where I would buy two of the same kind but in two different colors to mix to make my perfect shade but today I'm gonna go with the darker one cuz I'm darker cuz I go out all the time with Petrova I'm outside like two or three hours a day so I need the darker one cuz I'm more tan now well this one's more pinkish and this one's more beige-ish um, I think I'll go with the one I already had, that, this one. So yeah, this one's really full coverage. Um, and it's not my favorite foundation just because it's very, um, 
it's very thick and sometimes if you put it on too too much it can be kind of hard to work with so I kind of um I can kind of get away with putting on less of it because it is so full coverage it kind of you know evens out so Petrova Petrova's dancing to her music <laughs> all right I think that's good enough just a little bit if this was any of my other foundations, like, this is like one of my favorite foundations right here, this one, this one, I would put on like a lot of it because it's kind of water-based, so it would, um, it needs a lot, but I'm just going to use my Shiseido foundation brush and my Ben Nye, um, setting spray, but it's just in an e.l.f. bottle because it's smaller, my Ben Nye one's like really tall, so I'm just going to spray this a couple times with my Ben Nye and just, uh, buff it in. And I found, I find that sometimes this foundation can be a little bit too, um, like, I found like they didn't have, like, the perfect shade for me, that's why I bought two of them, but there's, it's still always a little bit too light for my skin, it's always, like, too, too light, so I find when I use this foundation, I have to, um, really bronze up my face to really even it out so I don't look like a ghost face. Bring it down to your neck, under your neck. And you can do your ears too, but I never do my ears because I'm like, ew. Because like, I sweat a lot, so like, if I go outside, I'll be like picking stuff out of my ear. And I'm like, ew, foundation. Foundation and earwax mixed together does not make a pretty combination. <laughs> so. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I have like a, a, a mark right there. That's from my, my when I got chicken pox when I was like seven or eight. And this mark right here, I have like an indention right here. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. On this side, that's from my chicken pox too when I was like seven or eight years old. <laughs> I got them really bad on my face. All right, so that's blended pretty much. Now I'm just going to go in with my um, Ben Nye banana powder. I had bought the uh, neutral set banana powder and my, I had given my mom some to try. Um, and so she liked it a, a lot. So she went and bought the uh, banana powder. Because it was more of like her shade because she we have kind of like darker skin um so she gave me like a little like sample of it too because i've given her a sample size of the the neutral set so i'm just going to use the banana powder for under my um eyes and my face um let's see let me take my sponge out of the neutral set one and put it in here i don't have too many sponges that i use so kind of use, use the same ones and I, I, I really like the banana powder, like, um, I did, at first I used it, I'm like, I don't really see a difference, but I think I like the banana powder a little bit more than my neutral set. I'm playing, I'm playing around with it more, and I'm, I'm liking it a lot, so. I might end up going back, you know, to my neutral set, but for now, I'm liking the banana powder. Uh-oh, Petrova, stop. Petrova likes to gag herself. I know that's really gross and TMI, but this is a, Petrova, stop. Hold on. Anyways, as I was saying, Petrova's kind of gross. <laughs> She's done that for a while now. She like, likes to stick her whole hand down her throat and gag herself. It's really nasty, but y'all have the privilege of hearing that today. <laughs> she does it every day. And like, if I, I have her in her playpen right now, because I, I couldn't watch her back there. Um, so if she's in her playpen and, I, and if she wants to get my attention, she'll like do that. And it's really gross. <laughs> Alright, so that's blended out. And I don't I don't really find baking. I don't do it baking I don't bake too often just because um my skin could get it can get my skin really patchy. Um so now let's go on to bronzing. Bronzing, yeah. And I I use this bronzer and I have it in a uh, a night cream bottle or jar because I, I my favorite bronzer ever. It's shattered and so like I like salvage some of it and put it in the jar so it's not um, it's just like a Dollar Tree, like Dollar Drugstore bronzer, but I really like it. I'm sorry, it's just in this huge jar, and I know it's really not professional <laughs> or anything, but. And I find that, cause, because this, this is a pigment bronzer, it's kind of hard to like put your brush in there, and it'll, you'll get too much. So I find that I put my finger, I just dab it on where I want, it, where I, on the points I want it. And then um, buffing it out, it works best. 
But if you had like a, you know, an actual bronzer in the in the compact pressed form, then this, this method I wouldn't do that, but I just do what I have to. I work with it, so, because I don't want to throw away the bronzer, and, and I've made the mistake way too often of dipping my brush in there and getting way too much product. So, may not look the prettiest, but hey, it's what I do. <laughs> And I use this brush for almost everything, like this pink brush by Luxie. It's the 504 Large Angled, and I, I use this brush all the time. Like, I completely, like, almost retired all of my Eco Tools brushes. I never use hardly any of them anymore. It's you, mainly this brush I use for almost everything. That one and my like large fan one for like my highlighter sometimes. Most of the time, I'll just be lazy and just use that part right here of my brush to just like brush it on like that. Alright, I need to stop rambling, or else this video is going to be way, 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 way long. I think I need to do more, because on, um, on camera I look way too white. In person it looks good, but on camera it looks too washed out. Let me just do it a little bit more. And I'll be right back. Okay, now on to blush. Also, too, I have my daughter's hair bow in my hair. <laughs> I, I was trying to find something to just get it out of my hair a little bit and I was like oh this looks cute and it goes with my dress so <laughs> cute little bow anyway I'm going to be using my blush in city color be matte blush and it's this um trio right here I got it in one of my like ipsy bags or something and I'm going to be using this um I use this really this one right here this pretty pink one this one's the lightest one and it's just pink and these are really pigmented, so just a little bit is all you need. I don't like to go too crazy with blush just because I don't like to look crazy, you know, like I'm like sunburned or something. But all right, and that's it with blush. I'm not really too technical with my makeup, so. I'm not fancy like some girls, I just, I just do it. Rub it in my face and go. <laughs> um, what else is next? Let me do my eyebrows next. But I'm going to fast forward through that just because I just fill them in. So I'm just going to do that real quick and I'll be back. Okay, next I'm going to go to eyes. And I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. So my eyeshadow doesn't melt off in this 100 degree weather here in Texas. Oh no! What's happening? It's like ruined. It's like won't come off. It's like jammed in there. What the heck? <gasps> oh no. Live here on camera. It has officially broken. Mm. Look, it's like won't come out. It's like I'm trying to twist it off and it won't come out. Oh no, I'm so sad. What in the world? Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna figure this out. Right back. Alright, so I figured that out, and that was weird. <clears throat> it was kind of like the Urban Decay potion was like like a like icing in like a piping bag, and it was like the top came out from like the piping, and there was just the plastic tube that I saw, and like I could see like the piping inside of it. So that's interesting. I never knew that was like that. I just thought all the product was in the actual purple tube, but no, it wasn't. <laughs> I have a couple more backups of that. I have, I, I always have backups of my favorite things just in case I ever, you know, don't have money to buy it or if I ever, like, if I ever, like, discontinued or whatever. I'm like, I need double of it. I need triple of it. So, I have, I have more of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Alright, so, I'm going to be using my Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay today. Um, and I'm going to see what I can play with, see what I can do today with this and um if you're not familiar with the naked palettes there's there's like a lot of there's like five of them now i only have three um but the first one is very oh look you can see me in the camera <laughs> the first one is very warm toned um here let me just get it for you one and two the first one is very like warm toned this is the first one and it's very warm like that and then the second one is cool toned this 
And then the third one is more like pinky blushy. So it looks like that. And after this one, I'm like, I don't need any more of them. Like, they have come out with, like, Urban Decay, like, heat palette. Urban Decay, like, 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 uh, smoky eye palette. I'm like, nah, I can create all those things with these. You know, it's fine. So I'm just going to be using the third one today because, because I want to. <laughs> um, let me prime my eyes with a uh, color tattoo. And this one seems fitting. It's a color tattoo in, um, inked in pink. And it's just as pretty pink, obviously. <laughs> And since most of these are pink based sh shades, I'll just be doing that one since it makes the most sense. And just, it's really pretty. These would be really pretty on the, on its own too, but for me, it would not work because my eyes are so greasy and oily, it would just melt off in like 10 minutes. So, that is a no-go for me. Petrova's watching Mutt and Stuff, <laughs> her favorite show ever. It's a tie between Mutt and Stuff, um, Mickey Mouse, and I don't know, what's her third favorite one? Not sure. She likes Sesame Street, but anyway. Next, I'm going to, what should I do? Hmm. All these shades. I, I want to go for kind of like a brownie kind of color of a lip, so, hmm. Let me do... Let me do Nooner in my crease right here. Nooner. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to do my highlighter. I'll do that later, though. I'll do that at the end since I totally forgot to do it now. But that's just me thinking in the future. <laughs> All right, let me put Nooner in my crease. And I just love Urban Decay. I also, again, I'm not going to talk about how much I love Urban Decay because you all know how much I love Urban Decay and Hard Candy. And that they're sister companies. They're made by the exact same company. Just one. Just Urban Decay is like more like high end. And Hard Candy is not. And I like high end eyeshadow because I feel like you have to. I feel like it's not as as big of a job to like blend everything in and like make everything work. I feel like it kind of just, just does the job for you because it's already so high quality and like nice and buttery. So that's one thing I like about high-end eyeshadows. Alright, and what should I put in my lid? Let me do, um, hmm, let me do Liar. In my on my lid, which is right next to Nooner, which is right here, liar. And I'm just gonna use the same brush because I'm lazy and I don't like looking for another brush. And I'm like, it doesn't really matter. It's all gonna be blended together anyway. I wore this look the other day actually, and I'm like, I want to redo it. But when I brought everything out, I'm like, I might go for something different to try on camera. But I'm like, no, nah, I just want to do the exact same look. Because it was really cute. I liked it. But I'm going to do a different lip, though. Alright, and, and just to top it off, I'm going to put the color, um... I'm going to put the color Buzz on top of everything just to, like, pat it on. That's really cute. I like that. nice. I like that. And for my highlight, I am going to use a different brush for that because, yeah. I like this small little precise brush I use every single time. It's this cute little brush right here. Actually, this isn't even the smallest one, but I don't know where the smaller one is. I'm just going to use this one because it's the next smallest size. And it's just a cute little brush by Eco Tools. And I'm gonna put um, dust in my inner corner and my brow bone. Cause I'm I'm going for a sparkly look today. I'm feeling the sparkles today.
I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to buy, um, I was looking through one of my mom's cookbooks that she has, and it's like a book, a cookbook of all casseroles. So I, like, I was taking pictures of, um, recipes on my phone and, like, going to buy, um, ingredients for maybe one of them to do. I don't think I've ever made a casserole before, so I think it'd be fun to try. So I'm going to do that today. Mm, do I like my eyeshadow? I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, so I fixed my eyeshadow. I just I put more dust on my actual lid. I, it wasn't it wasn't pretty. It wasn't like it wasn't glowy enough. So I just added more. Um, so now I'm gonna go into my eyeliner, which is my all the one I use all the time. It's my H two O Wet and Wild one. And this is the the new one that I got. So I don't have to work as hard to like make a line anymore. Cause my other one was getting hard to do. Cause it was getting so goopy and gross, but I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do a straight line. I'm not going to do a wing today. Most days I don't do a wing. Well, I used to when I was younger, when I, before, you know, before I had to, uh, before I sweat a lot, really, it was back in Washington when I didn't have to worry about sweating my face off here in Texas. So I don't do a wing too, too often anymore, but I'm just going to do a line. And I just got some on my lower lash line, which is kind of fine because I'm already going to, I'm going to put black eyeliner down there anyway. <laughs> oh, well. That's what this is, this is like natural, this is actually what I do during my makeup. If I mess up, I'm just like, okay, I'll just smear it in. I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll make it work. Now I'm going to find a uh, water line to do, and I'm probably just going to do my same one I always do. I was using my um, Urban Decay one, but it kind of broke because it got too small. It got too short, but I'm going to use my ColourPop one. This is my second favorite one, um, is by ColourPop, and I'm just going to put that on my water line. I can guarantee you, my eyes are, I can already feel that my eyes are getting watery. My makeup's not going to stay on very long today. Some days I can put makeup on and it'll stay on all day, or like today, I can tell it's going to come off in like an hour, so, oh well. At least I'll look somewhat presentable for Walmart, I won't look too bad. Alright, that's good enough. Good enough for me. Now I'm going to go with, um, y'all know I don't like wearing false eyelashes, so I'm just going to do, um, mascara, and I'm going to put two together. I'm going to do my Urban Decay Perversion, and I'm going to mix together the Tarte, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm going to do, um, Perversion first, and personally, I like, I like mascaras that have, um, a plastic brush, because for my small little eyelashes, I feel like it just gets it coated the most but unfortunately both of these are um like felt brushes but I'm running out of mascara that I like so I'm just using what I have just working with what I have because really it really does not matter in the end because my eyelashes aren't going to look cute anyway they're just going to look small regardless of what I use but hey I don't feel like using false eyelashes so what do I expect and I, I know I put on my bottom eyelash my bottom mascara weird but it's because if I go like this it'll get all over my under eye because my eyelashes are so small I know it works for me so if anyone out there has really tiny eyelashes try doing the bottom kind of like you know like that it works better in my opinion it does Now, this, um, the Urban Decay one I just used, the mascara, it was more of like a wet formula. And this Tarte one is more of like a dry formula, so. 
case y'all were wondering. If y'all have any questions about what I used in this video or whatever, um, <clears throat> comment them down below because I'm not going to go and like list everything down there because I don't get too, too many views on my beauty videos. So well, if I get enough views and subscribers, I'll for sure um, list everything down there below. But I'm not going to do that yet because I only get about 30 to 50 views per beauty video. So, all right, my eyes are done completely. Um, I'm going to do my highlighter really quick because I forgot to do that. So I'm just going to use this cream highlighter stick. Um, it's, I got it in one of my beauty boxes, so it's just a cream highlight. And I really like this one because it's like, it's cream, but it like, it's like, it like dries to a, it dries to a powder. So it's kind of like both in one. Like, you, it's faster to do when you're on a rush or something, in a rush. Let me zoom you guys out. And that's just a subtle highlight. It's not too, too much. And I kind of don't want a huge highlight because, like I said, I sweat a lot out, out there in Texas. So, um, out in the summer heat. So I don't need anything too highlighting because I'll look like a sweaty mess even sooner. <clears throat> Alright, so I think that's done. My face is done. Now I'm going to go on to the last step, which is the lips. Let me zoom y'all back in. I hope it's really dry too. But um, I'm going to use my Mary Kay lipsticks. At first I'm going to use this uh, Mary Kay lipstick in... Um, Toffee Caramel. I'm almost done, baby. And Toffee Caramel. And it's just like this reddy, reddish, brownish color. And I'm just going to lightly use that first. And like I said, I'm lazy, so I use my finger. <laughs> and I don't know if this is going to do what I want the color so I might have to mix in another shade but this is too red off obviously for what I'm looking for today but so I'm gonna go in with this like darker berry see if that does anything that I want I don't think so I think I'm gonna have to use another brown yeah this is too pink like it's cute but I don't, I'm not in the mood to wear this bright of a pinky color so I'm gonna let me go in with a brown um a brown lip gloss just to even it out because I already put two two layers of lipstick on. So I'm going to go in with this Hard Candy Lip Def Lip Lacquer. And it's in the shade Night Owl. And it's just this dark, dark brown. And I think that will do what I want. Yeah, it's cute, I guess. <laughs> I don't really like that combo of the two Mary Kay ones, but it's good enough. It's more of like, it's more ready, more reddish than what I usually have been wearing lately, but oh, well, I'll make it work. So yeah, this is the complete look. My highlight, my, my hair. <laughs> I'm probably not going to leave this in my hair though. I'm, I don't know. Who knows? My eyes and everything. So yeah, this was my chit chat. Get ready with me. And I'll talk to you guys another time. Bye. <laughs>